Oh, how old am I? I am 64. Well, I'm 52 years old today. I'm 58 years old. I am 59. Age-wise, I'm 62. I am 79. I'm 59. I'm 51. 68. 49. Some people fall down and they stay down. When life gets too tough, they never get up. Some people fly high, they see a blue sky. When it's pouring down rain, what if your beliefs on aging were myths? And we could show you ways to improve your life mentally, emotionally, physically, financially, and spiritually in your second 50. It's been shown that the brain is neuroplastic. And that's a fancy word that really means it's remodeling itself and rebuilding itself and, and changing itself to adapt to changing environments. Internally, I don't think that's halfway of your journey. So it's kind of like you should be like a candle. You know, you should burn, 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 and then you're done. We have to ask the most important question, what am I to learn from this? And when we realize there's really no such thing as a good thing or a bad thing, they're just things. The next thing, the next lesson is the next experience. And it's all about adopting an attitude that wins. Aging is, uh, as we know from the biology of belief, uh, is very significantly tied up into our our perceptions and attitudes about life. People say, where does she get all the energy? Where does he get all the energy? Nobody gets energy. We release energy. And to release it, you've got to have a desire to do something. When I was uh, 20, I was working at a horse stable, and there was an old man who was 94, and he would come out every day and ride this, you know, 17-hand uh, saddlebred that he loved. He got on that horse, and he rode off into the sunset every day. He would go riding and I go, you know what, when I'm that age, that's what I want to do. What they found is as long as we are stimulating the brain and pursuing things that inspire us and we're going after and learning and creative, going after something and solving problems with our brain and getting the glucose and oxygen working in that brain, it will last for an unbelievable period of time. And well, the significance is if you have an expectation of aging, well, then you can manifest an expectation of aging. When I turned 50, I actually um, was grateful. When I turned 50, it was like, ah, now I can do something with life that I've learned. Inside, I feel like I'm 37. And uh, on occasion, when I see myself in the mirror, I see a body that looks older than 37. 48 sounds way better than 50, but when you hear that hard number, 50, it's like a death sentence, but it's really not. Once you get over that, it's the beginning of life again. I feel, I feel 37.